Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And here it is. It's Cluckin' Bell Week. I'm actually not hyped to do it. But, you know, Rockstar, in their infinite wisdom, have put some FOMO into this. You get 100k if you do it What's this up? week. And you get a hat. And you know, as a long-time TF2 player, hats, hats are important. You have to wait for a call, so let's go pull a car. Please stop. Oh, good, it's a short one. See, I've repainted my FMJ in preparation to, to uh, record the Independence Day racing video. Which is what I was going to do this weekend, but now we're going to be fucking belling it. This, could, this is probably going to take up most of my game time. Got to wait for Vincent to call us. And not into next 92 because that would just be more land races or drag races. You can do them both. I thought about doing the drag races on my main character to get the Yuga 4x4 on that one, but I'd have to I'd have to sell something. I don't know what. I might have a cut like an extra surfer somewhere I could get rid of. But you can still get those off the street. So that's a thought. So, I, but I'm out of parking. I mean, parking is just becoming a huge problem. Oh, they're really making us wait on that call. Making us wait on the call. And we're just towing a car right now. Not much really to comment on, I guess. I mean, you know me. I'm not a big heist guy. You know, I'm not... I'm not excellent at it or anything like that. I mean, it's just like I'll... I'll grind through it. The, the emotion I get when I'm doing a heist is I've got a task that I have to complete in a certain amount of time. Like, I have to get this done this week twice to unlock the hats on my characters. And it's like, great. Now it's one more thing to do. In addition to doing the bills and getting the car straightened out. Almost here? Nice! We can get the car ready to be disassembled, which means payment won't be far behind. A Subaru is overheating again. You know, it's a, it's it's in that bucket, and I it's nothing against the uh, the designers of the heist or anything like that, or the fact that it's there. I'm glad it's there. I'm glad there's DLC. Um, I'm sure it's great. It's just I'd rather be racing. It's you know, it's in that racing. So it's like, well, all right. No, it's not all right. Where's Vincent? So I'm deviating from what I plan to do to do this, and so it takes a little bit out of me. I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that's kind of like you ever you ever have that feeling when you you have to go somewhere like you know sometimes it's a party and you're just not in the mood for it. You're not in the mood to visit. That's a little bit long, but I don't want to restart the timer for the the call. Yeah, you're not really in the mood to go. But you have to go, so you go anyway, and you have a fantastic time. That, that's what I'm hoping Cluck and Bell is going to be for me. It's going to be a lot more fun than I'm anticipating. Because I'm not really in the mood for doing different things. But I mean, I'm, I'm anticipating the voice acting uh, is going to be good, and some of this could be hilarious. So I'm, I'm cautiously hopeful that eventually, when I get a call from Vincent, or... 
I wonder if I'm screwing myself up by doing uh, a mission here. If you can't call during a mission, I have to stand around. I mean, I'm in free mode here. I'm just driving a tow truck. I should get a phone call. Vincent! Call yet. But whatever we'll be doing, we'll be doing it with full popularity in the uh, in the salvage yard. And it was not very long ago that I did I maxed the popularity in the nightclub, so it could be good. We'll be making bank on this. Wow, I'm really waiting on this here call to get the V on the map. What vehicle should I take? I guess we can just take the FMJ for now. Sorry, dude. Just cruising along. Like, oh yeah, there's a bike there. That's why you shouldn't drive in third person in real life. See that? You see that black? Uh, I have one of those black surfers on my other character. I probably should get rid of it and make it space. Like that one there. That one that I just just killed. I have one of those. And I could sell that if I need to, a parking space for the U Classic 4x4 on my other... I, I have one on this one, famously. There's a person standing around here. Is someone going to come after me? A lot of times someone comes after you on this one. Like comes running up to you to try and get you out of the truck. Shift gears here and wait for. I've heard one of the, one of the videos said you have to wait ten minutes. I'm probably not going to buy any of the new cars because I'm so low on. Uh, on parking, and they're wildly expensive, you know? I would buy all the police cars, but like, you're looking, I mean, don't get me wrong, I can't afford it. But they're obscenely expensive, and I have no parking. Like, if, if I had access to the 100 car garage, then yeah, probably would do it. But I mean, even, even the gauntlet, you know, the gauntlet pull interceptor, well, I mean, you can't race it, it's in the emergencies class. So it's not a muscle car, so you can't, it doesn't wheelie. And so if you already have a Gauntlet Hellfire, I think you have most of the experience there, except for the Wee Woos. So it's not, not calling, it, it, it calls to me a little bit. I think I could, I can think of ways I could have fun with it. You know, paint it like Buford T. Justice's car with the brown paint and the Sheriff's logo. Might work better with the Stanger, but because they don't have a big old, I think it was an Oldsmobile he was driving or something like that. It was one of those kind of cars. Big old Pontiac or Oldsmobile. I'd have to look it up. Was it a Bonneville? Could have been a, could have been a Bonneville. And once again, I'm happy the police cars are there. I'm just not in a good position because I've got no parking. Because of FOMO, because they took, if they took, if they put the cars back on the menu, you know, if they put them back on the websites, then I could have a lot more flexibility. Because I mean, you know, am I really, am I really using the stingers? No, probably not. I could probably get rid of them. 
but not if you can never get them again. You know, it's just how it is. I'll tell you, I'm hoping that the, the Subaru is not needing a head. A head, you know, the, head, the heads go on those. Head gaskets and stuff like that. A lot of times the, the head needs to be remachined. Almost here? Nice! We can get the car ready to be disassembled, which means payment won't be far behind. And it's got just turned 200,000 miles. It's a, 2000, it's a 2009 Outback. Rust free. In Pennsylvania, no less. But the, um,. I did. I just replaced pretty much the entire cooling system. The fans are new. The uh, the radiators new. The the thermostats new. I mean, everything in it's been replaced. Still overheating. There's something bad going on. I don't know. We'll see what happens. My my hope is that there's nothing horrible, horrible, horrible going on, and it's just something wrong with the thermostat. But we don't really know that. So we're going to have to see. All right, now I'm just going to go outside and stand around because, I mean, he's still not calling. Do I have to be just standing around outside with no mission? A man with no mission? I feel like we should at least be in doing in something of money tech. I was going to put my uh, God Bless the USA uh, play on this, but you can't access that now because... They shortened up the list. Um, where is? Let's get something iconic and very America. Cool. There are times I think I should just go through and just knock out all the heists. I mean, I, I tried that once, and then I got to the the jailbreak one there, the prison break, and uh, it just glitched. I could not stop it from glitching out. You know, the, the guy you have to rescue, whatever his name is, just would not leave the prison. I guess he likes it on the inside. So, I mean, you know, that was just, I gave up on it. I actually canceled it and lost all the setup. I thought, I'm never doing this again. I was that angry at it. I think that was on my main character, so this one might still have the setup. And you're trying to find someone to, to view them with you, you know, it's... The vision that they had back in the day of, you know, everybody always working together doesn't end up as a practical thing. I think we have some bulletproof stuff in here. Let's see, or semi-bulletproof. Because I don't know what the mission is going to be. Getting so many of those stupid messages anymore. All right, that could work. I think the monstrosity. This one will work too. It's not as fast, but it might be more bulletproof. I do have the up armor on this. Hmm. I'll go goofy and take the Granger. Cause that should have some. That we put armor on that, right? No, no, no. Yeah, we did. You have to look really close. What would be the best cho Best choice is probably the monstrosity. Funniest choice would probably be the, the Granger. So we'll go somewhere in between. Something very bulletproof. And shiny. Is it too shiny? Is it not enough orange on the screen? You need a little bit of orange. Oh man, it is slow. No, it's too slow. Here we go! Hey, it's Vincent. It gives me supreme pleasure to report I am no longer mall security guard over at Rockford Plaza. In fact, these days, I'm in a position to offer you a lucrative, although unorthodox opportunity to make some money 
and sabotage one of your long-standing adversaries. If you're interested, meet me at the Vespucci police station. All right, we got the call. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to get something faster. That does feel so... You forget how sluggy these things are. I think all won't be too bad, but it is. All right, monstrosity it is. Panels on the back should keep me safe from behind. Although, you know what, though? It's, um... Now that... I think they fixed the part where it doesn't get the armor anymore. So it's no longer super explosive proof or anything. Let's take this one. Probably not real quick either, but... Probably not as bad. V. Good enough for the first mission, then we'll switch over to, like, an armored room or something. No. Did I forget about you, Simeon? Yes, I did. At least I'm trying. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Fast enough for round town. And smashing into things. Wheeling on down to the V. I am supremely happy to be able to work with him again. Okay, so here we are. Let's illegally park. I'm going to mute this out for the cutscene and hopefully I remember to turn it back on. Nibai's going inside. Now with your reputation for depravity and general aversion to the law, in all seriousness, your countenance is quite discernible, and there are certain of my consociates who would take it upon themselves to exercise their right to lethal force were they to encounter you in person. But it's good to cross paths with you again, my friend. After head of security at the Diamond, this isn't exactly what I had in mind, but it's still a long way from a mall cop, right? Let's take a walk. Relax. I'm a cop, but I'm not a cop. This is just where the universe put me right now. I mean, I have my path and you have yours. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn about your antics out there. In fact, we may be able to assist each other. I mean, check this out. You see that misguided individual? How do you think he's gotten away with selling drugs in front of that burger shot very conspicuously for 10 years now? In front of the largest department in the city. He cuts them in. Effenberger, you copy? Yo, Effenberger. I copy. Worst last name ever, dude. <laughs> I mean, Effen what? <laughs> anyway, when you got five, we all need some Effen coffee down here on Dix. And don't forget the Effen cream and sugar. Copy that. All oh, these motherfuckers. Huh? I'm out here getting coffee for cops on the take. And that guy over there is only a modicum of the issue. There's a new cartel running a large-scale cocaine operation out of the Cluck and Bell factory in Polito Bay. And being no doubt, the cops, they're not only turning a blind eye, they're actively facilitating. If you ask me, the cartel and the cops can both go to hell, preferably on the back of the same bullet. I'm talking about a surgical strike, man. Taking out the whole operation. That's why I came to you. Let's go somewhere a bit more unfrequented. I understand your motivation in these matters, 
If you raid that factory, anything you find is yours to keep. But this isn't about the drugs for me. This is about these assholes running the biggest protection racket in the state. That's the kind of status quo I cannot abide. As far as my part, I can provide all the intel you need. Records, names, locations. We will need to educate ourselves on the factory, though. Gather materials so you can attack it with style and aptitude. Ding fucking dong, Officer Effenberger. We're effing falling asleep over here. Get us some effing coffee. Copy that. I'm on my way. Think about it. If anybody deserves to be fucked with, it's these guys. Can I count you in? Excellent. Now on to the first order of business. Acquire some funds. And fortuitously, we have files on some money laundering operations not far from here. The department allows them to operate for a share of the profits. I suggest we take a more proactive stance. <laughs> Time to do what you do. I'll call you. Let me take these fucking assholes their coffee. They do a good job of making you want to be involved. You hear me out there? I'm sending you the locations of our targets. All of them up to their necks in stolen cash. I invite you to consider this as a double investment opportunity. A chance to raise the funds we need to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the cartel cop coalition. And as a bonus, you get to disrupt some of your more unsavory competitors. Not to mention, you'll land yourself a handsome reward when this is all over. I hope life's treated you well since we last worked together. I say that because you have an indeterminate expression I find hard to read. I can't tell if you're elated or dejected. But I respect that. It's very enigmatic of you. <laughs> okay, what am I doing here? Hey, there's a person standing there. Let us bring up something we can aim with. By the way, I will be able to assist you with my LSPD privileges. Accessing their database and communications is a perk of the job. One that will prove useful throughout this venture, I'm certain. Okay, pure simplicity. Get inside, get the money, get out. There was no element of surprise. That wasn't even a thing. Which way are we going? Where's the little... Where's the entryway? Is this like an ever-ending cycle here, or...? Where is the doorway? Oh, there it is. Prepare to shoot people. Not a lot of people. Steal the cash. Oh, looky here. What up, pork chop? There's, n there's nobody here. Oh, there's someone behind the door. Okay. Oh, you walked out of that door? Hello. Oh, okay. Nice! It's our duty to confiscate it all. Oh, we're confiscating. Okay, is there any, uh, that door open? No, he just walked out of it, like, magically. All right. Let us... Uh, let's do this. Let's hide against the wall. Come on, hide. Snacks, keys and cues and keys and cues. Let's get the help up. Didn't need that much, probably, but we're... 
just used to a rhythm of doing this, and then... Okay, I'm trying. Is this a different door? Oh, that's the door I, I, I said wouldn't open. Okay. This has to go this way. That's just a different door. Oh, that's, it's a different door, I said. You're You're Suddenly surrounded. You kind of literally don't. I think this has some bullet resistant windows. Could be wrong. So we flee. Where's my aim? Oh, it's using the machine guns in the truck again. And the. Well, we could try that. Probably to make the car explode. Oh, they're dead! Aren't those wasn't too shabby for the, for uh, car machine guns? All right, let's. See. This doesn't have mines, does it? It does have mines of some nature. Slicks or something. That at least slow him down. Okay, we should probably switch to uh, switch to the tactical now. I have bullets. You're very aggressive. You're very dead. Where's the entrance? Somewhere behind me. Okay, that car is going down the wrong way. We could get out. Let's pull in this way. Where the hell is the entrance? Are you just robbing the truck? I should probably snack it up. I know I could use the wheel. I just like to control which snacks. Yums. I die a lot. It's a video game. You don't worry about these things. You'll be back. Where is it? The truck? Is it across the street? Where the heck is the... Oh, there it is. It's right next to the truck. Knock, knock. Ah, more of you. More of the merrier. Are we done here? mechanic of just grabbing all the cash is for some reason very satisfying. I mean, that's that's one of the few things I used to really like about Keo Perico is the grabbing of everything. Yeah, Still never do it. Yeah, this is Raid. There you go.
So I guess this isn't, you're probably not going to get to keep the money, but this is instead of paying 25k or something to get in, we're doing this. Okay, so that's everything. And the reason I'm not using any body armor here is, of course, because you can't. Because you have to, if you want to maintain 10 body armor on everything, you can't dip down below a certain to point be because you can't buy anymore. Allow me to explain some of the background to our endeavor. A few months ago, a new cartel arrived in San Andreas. They came up with a pretty smart plan to get their operation up and running. Pay key employees at Cluck and Belt to look the other way while they use their distribution network to move large amounts of cocaine. The factory up in Polito Bay is pretty much a giant processing facility for the cartel. Every other clucking bell van you see in town has a brick of coke under the mega meals. And of course, corrupt elements of the LSPD were only too eager to get cut in. Ingenious, right? But they think they got this whole thing sewn up. And that's where we come in. Okay. Vincent's lockup. Okay, let's go to Vincent's lockup. That person just fall down for no reason, just ah, out of sheer terror. Let's see what kind of mines these are. Oh, they're slick. Let's slow them down through here. This thing's pretty quick overall. Not a bad choice. I'll probably get something better for the next ones. And pull up that armored Karuma. This could use a little work anyway. <laughs> Can't really complain about it though. Oh, you know what would be interesting? The armored, uh, the armored Tampa. I would blow stuff to smithereens. Oh, I want to see it explode. There you go. A little spy hunter action there. <laughs> really need to do that but you know sometimes you need to do 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 if any of you too young to have ever played spy hunter well then you don't know what I'm talking about so well look into that get into that you have to have you have to have the experience that was bad work officer mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so where is Looks like we have to go around this alleyway and in. Where the hell is it? Oh, there we go. That was not clear. It's well hidden. Disappeared. Mission passed. Hey, I am so glad to be caught. 
You should get a call. Another V? Is the V still there? Is v still there. I guess we could just go roll back there. Um, yeah, this is all the way out here. Heck with it. Hey, it's me. That was a lucrative effort. This is a solid fund to use on the rest of our planning efforts. The first leg of which I'll get the work on right now. I'll be in touch. Hmm. That means we should wait for another phone call. Or do we just go right to the V? That is messed up. He said I'll be in touch. If you approach it, it'll trigger. A lot of times that's how that works, so we'll see. We go down in a big armored mommy wagon. Okay, we're getting closer. You should ring me up. Should I wait for him to be in touch, or should we, uh... Word up, Frankie B in the house! Looking good! You're fixing to pay for this damage! You motherfucking lord! Okay, let's do this. Fuck me! never gets old. Okay, so we scared them that way. Now we put it that way. They're all running now towards the other one. As we wait for Vincent to call. One of you will do it. She went around it! Oh, did they hit the other one? I heard something go boop. Yeah, there we go. You fell into the trap. It's synchronized. And the 50. And together. 50. Oh, come on, it's almost dried up. There you go. Is he dead? No, okay. We don't want to kill anyone with these things, you know. Oh, wait, they're running the other way. Will they run the other way? And then get the other one. Or did I put it too close to the edge? Too close to the edge, it's not going to go boof. They've escaped. They've successfully escaped. Well, maybe you just some matter go to the V. All right, let's discuss a potential way into. 
to this place. The cartel are paying off employees of Cluck and Bell to use their factory as a cover. There are a couple things we'll need in order to solidify my current infiltration plan. Let's move. I have to drive all the way to Cluck and Bell. Oh, what happened there? Is that how it's supposed to go, or is that a glitch? Oh, those, those are really strong gym equipment. A drug dealer? Not really interested in that right now. We're trying to do a thing. Money to be made, but yeah, still. Alright, I've got no direction whatsoever here. Like, do I have like a thing on the map? Did that trigger that trigger the call, but now I gotta go back to the V again? Alright, this is just weird. Why is the V still there? We should be in the mission. Oh maybe it has to load them now you have to go back to load the mission. It chased you away and made you come back. That's weird. Why would you do it that way? Okay, set up, breaking and entering. Oh, when you get home, I'm gonna smell your dick. So you best keep it in your pants. Okay, so we, we have options, I think. Breaking and entering. All right, now our operation underway. We need to consider our, our moves. Preparation is key when it comes to infiltrating the Cluck and Bell factory, so I need to do some groundwork. How, you know how to drive a train? All right, I'm intrigued. I have a train. Okay, some of them were teleported to the the lockup. Okay, sending some coordinates your way. I have a checklist for today's operation. Number one. A laptop from a Cluck and Bell employee on the cartel's payroll. It's got critical intel for our operation. Number two, a hacking device which is going to help us pilot a train. And that brings me to number three. We need a train. That's how we're getting into the factory. Okay, so I'll put the... No, I'm kind of motivated with him. I'm, I'm with them on all that. That's, I am sympathetic to Vincent's cause. This might end up being the sort of thing where we switch to the Sparrow if I can pull it in. Security. 
Take them down before you proceed. I heard this guy's been living out here on the DL. <laughs> Not easy in a truck stacked with so much tech. It has its own gravitational pull. We already found the truck. But if the, oh, there's a drone. Oh, this just. But well, we, we've already located it. Can they be killed? I wonder how many of these we have to kill. They're mildly annoying. Well, what the hell was that? Okay, let's do this. You know... Can't use me. I love how they just completely. Uh, ooh, will that work? Do you need a direct hit? What the heck good is the compact EMP if it doesn't got the uh, the range? Just need better bullets. means we have to shoot this person. Pretty close range. No, he's just not there. Okay. This is looking like a very large setup mission. Like they've, they've put a lot into this. I would expect, you know, I'm used to smaller stuff like you have to do for, uh, for like, you know, the, the car heist stuff. That's what I was expecting. Upstairs or downstairs? It's an upstairs thing. Okay, what's the image? That guy. Stealing it, running away. Excellent. This should tell us exactly when we need to hit the factory. 
Cartel's compound? Okay. Keep going. I'll make sure there's no retaliation from the LSPD. Just a simple matter of rerouting some calls. So nondescript, sneaking in. Go to the cartel's right. compound. Now the key's gotta be in someone's pocket. Remember, these guys are serious. They will not hesitate to shoot on sight. Take whatever steps you deem necessary. Kill them all. This is a case of kill them all. But what little protection this car offers me, I will take. Die. Stay down. I imagine when you get the right one. Oh, look at you! Oh, there's a lot of them. I probably, probably should have gotten a uh, a better car for this. All right, you know what? Let's do this. I've got a thought. Fighty crooks. Yeah, I got some. Oh, we got the key. The key is in there. We don't seem to be getting more of them with this. We have to go to shotgun mode. Yeah, there's the key. Where you gonna go? I'm gonna get your key, and then I'm gonna go where they tell me. Oh, you took several shotgun shots to the face. Uh, finally, the balls got him. Okay. This is definitely a kill em all kind of situation. Bunga bunga. Steal the train! Once you found the keys, the train should be at your disposal. Alright, now this is different. Well, we go I'm climb up I'm hitting F. You get to drive the train! Okay. Okay, we just have to hit E. Or hit people with this this is a satisfying one. Okay.
Ready? Oh, really? Okay, we have to hit the button. <laughs> She's pull pushing a burning truck along, okay. I have to get some snacks soon. Snacks and peas in, peas in something and go. Sprint and sprint. Okay. Nice work. I'll make some arrangements and ensure the train is secured out of sight. Just until we're ready to hit the cartel. Okay. Our designs clandestine. You copy? There you go! We stole a train! And drove it through a lot of things. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to take a break here. I won't do this all in one shot. It seems like these missions are going to be a little bit longer than the normal grind, so... And that could be a good thing. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.